there is a, a, an, an evil spirit in Kenya <laughs> that is uh, resident in some leaders. They churn out falsehood. They oppose everything for the sake of opposing. I mean, foot and mouth disease, PPR, are diseases we have been fighting ever since I was born. It is nothing new. So anybody opposing vaccination to eliminate FMD and PPR is simply mad and unreasonable and possibly stupid. I mean, honestly. I mean, <laughs> How else can you explain? You know? Or maybe they don't have cattle. Maybe they don't understand what this is all about. You know? So, if you are used to planting uh, things, you don't know about uh, livestock, please, when we are having a conversation about livestock, shut up. <laughs> At least for those of us who keep cattle. So, we are going to carry out this vaccination because it is the right thing to do because we need to take charge of disease control and open up markets for our animal products and we are going to use vaccines that are produced by Kenya right here at home so that even as we uh, as we as we as we develop um, vaccines that we are selling to other countries we are doing the same to our country. Our, the diseases that come with ticks and all the other uh, things that come along. And it is the reason why I have made a policy decision that because we have never been able to manage disease around Kenya, because we vaccinate in one county, the other county has not vaccinated, disease move from here to there. We are going to carry out a national campaign, a national vaccination exercise that is going to make sure that we vaccinate our 22 million heads of cattle and 50 million heads of uh, small stock, goats and sheep. And that exercise is because it is necessary. That vaccination is necessary because we want to create a disease-free uh, country and so that we can market our livestock products to destinations that today we have been denied access to certain destinations because of our disease control inadequacies. That is the primary reason. And for the avoidance of doubt, the vaccines that we will be using are produced in Kenya by Kenyans. Kevevapi, Kevevapi, our own institution is going to produce these vaccines. We have one of the largest pro uh, vaccine producers in Africa, in Kenya. Today we are selling vaccines to other countries. And I want to tell livestock keepers, starting from myself, because among the uh, livestock that is going to be vaccinated is my own cattle, you know? So, when I met Prime Minister Modi, we agreed that we are going to have a collaborative program that is going to enhance the quality and the types of livestock that we keep, especially those that are sensitive and those that can sustain the climatic condition that exists in our arid and semi-arid areas. And therefore, we have a whole array of um, uh, interventions, and we are looking at how we can reduce the cost of artificial insemination, how we can make it much more accessible, and how we can build the capacity to produce more locally. Also, to make sure that we open up market for our livestock products, we must manage our disease prevalence. We must manage... Um, uh